So Rudy on the right of Rudy is the Mana Source, a known scammer in the magic community. He tried to make a return, but it didn't work out. He was the Mr. Rogers of Magic the Gathering before even Tolarian Community College became that. Huge channel. I would fight with his subscribers and simps all day in the comment section. No longer have the ability to do that. Just block him and move on now. I've got wiser in my years. But there are a lot of parallels. And I'm not surprised that Rudy is a fan of the Mana Source. A lot of these parallels about MetaZoo. So people ask, how do I know Rudy knew MetaZoo was a scam? He never bought any MetaZoo collections. He has bought flesh and blood collections. He's bought tons, tons of magic collections. But when you search his videos for MetaZoo collection, you will find nothing. He's never bought a MetaZoo collection sealed or unsealed. He is a Magic the Gathering channel trying to sell Magic players MetaZoo. When MetaZoo was hot, that's when he was making his attack videos on Hasbro. I am not a supporter of Hasbro at all. But I didn't have the violent reaction he had to Magic 30th. Magic 30th is very interesting because I just saw a video by I think Angry Collections. And PCG, the grading company he owns, grades Magic 30th. You know, it's as simple as that. If we can make money from it, hey man, hate it until you can make money from it, right? Now, what Rudy is, is quite interesting, right? He's kind of a Logan Paul individual, again, a mana source. He is willing, when MetaZoo was popular and Flesh and Blood was popular, you can see a lot of negativity towards Magic product. Because Magic product at that point in time didn't have the margins that Flesh and Blood. And, you know, if Nightfall First Edition, you buy a box for 70 or less, you sell it for 600 No Magic the Gathering product is like that. No matter how hard Rudy puts this route, return, Round the Cut Remastered and Murders of Call o Manor, they're never going to be like that. He's going to make far more money selling... Meta Zoo products because of their very and, and it sucks because now they these boxes are twenty. I can show you on eBay all day. A UFO box just went for seventeen dollars. They're dipping below twenty, and he doesn't care if you have the heavy bags. He doesn't care if you're the one holding the bags, right? Because at the end of the day, he sold it. He sold millions, tens of millions of dollars. I mean, he had that whole pyramid of Nightfall. He sold each of those Nightfalls for at least $620 as a kit. Like there was a video, which you'll see the screenshot, where he's just building giant pyramids. Those Nightfalls either got opened or they're still sealed today. And they're worthless. They're worth way, way less worthless, right? So let's talk a little bit about uh, what this, you know. Again, if, if you want to know... The secret to Rudy and becoming a Rudy. Look at what he's buying. Right here. Here's how many. The Nightfall is a pyramid scheme. That's how many Nightfall boxes he had. At some point in time. He was selling them for $600, $500 a box. As a kid. Look at this Mike Waddell guy. Doesn't he and Rudy look great? And they're talking about the reserve list. For MetaZoo this early on. <laughs> Doesn't he look happy? He looks Super happy, man. He looks like MetaZoo is going to the moon. He looks like he got a lot of money coming in. There are a lot of people who lost money. They contact me. They hate Rudy. More than I hate Rudy. I, I don't really hate Rudy. It's just for content, right? Um, there are some things that Rudy does that I really, really hate. But I don't hate Rudy as a person. There are people out there who do. And... Rudy's going to learn a very important lesson in life. When you mess with somebody's money, people say, oh, don't you sell? No, I only sell to my friends. Bring a random YouTube that, and then show proof that I've sold to you. I don't have, I don't sell on eBay. I only buy on eBay. And that's only recently. I don't sell on TCG Player. I don't sell, I only sell locally to my friends. And when I sell to my friends, I sell them at buy list. I don't rip them off. 
Even when I had my game store, people were like, oh, no, no. I was selling Pokemon packs for $3 a pack when everyone was selling them for $8, $8, $9, $10 a pack. I don't care. It's not my main business, right? It's a side hobby. Supposedly, this is a side hobby for Ruby, Rudy, Ruby, as well. So why can't you give people a deal? Why can't you give them a better deal? Why do you need to charge them so much to be a Timmy? These Timmies are very, very bad position now. And and again, I, I go back to the premise of my argument. If Rudy thought MetaZoo was going to the moon and MetaZoo was this great product, why has he never bought a MetaZoo collection and shown it on video? Because he's done this for Magic. He has done this for Flesh and Blood. A ton. Right? Like... There are magic collections sealed and unsealed. There was, the, the sealed collection was from a Patreon of his. Uh, and again, I don't know why he makes these videos because he always looks very bad. Where he bought, he sold it to the Patreon for $100 and he bought it back for like $10. $10 right? I mean, obviously the Patreon got hosed because you never want to sell it back to the guy who sold it to you. That, that's the same thing. You buy a car from car dealer, take that same car the next day back to the car dealer and see what they're going to give you for that car i promise you it's not going to be anything close to and, and this is everybody in life so what you have to learn is if you buy something from somebody the one of the worst people to sell that item to is the person that you bought the item from because the price they're going to give to you obviously is going to be very low turn on the assembly line like look at these titles <laughs> look at Look at these titles. Turn on the assembly line. What what does that suggest to you, little Timmy? <laughs> it, it, does it sound like a dude who's only selling a few boxes for like his game store? No, it sounds like they are mass selling this product until the wheels fall off. And the wheels are now off. I don't actually dislike MetaZoo. I, I don't. Patreon loses 6 9 6 9 Fire up the assembly. You know those boxes, those UFO boxes? I, I told you, one just sold on eBay for 17 bucks. I don't know what he sold them to you at. Uh, actually, I do know. I can just check the emails. Show me the golden ticket. Like, how is this not like a pump and dump? We nailed a serialized card. Like, like what? And then Disney Locana collapsed 75%. It did not collapse 75%, Rudy. So if Disney Alcana went up to $200, collapsing 75%, would mean they were selling a $50 a box, which is still not true. They're still doing relatively well. Wilderness has arrived. Fire up the assembly line. Like, how many of these more of these things I had to show you? Every one of these boxes is an L to the face. And I don't care if he says, oh, well, this patron told me he flipped the box for more. Okay, well, the L just got transferred to somebody else. Right? Like, do you understand what I'm saying? Like, if my first native box. Oh, I remember. <laughs> I didn't even include this video. There was, there was a video where he was saying recently where he was saying native was a $100 plus box. The box is like 60 now or less. And supposedly there's no print. 6.9. 6.9. I mean, come on, guys. Use your common sense here. Like, <laughs> I, I mean, somebody can scam you a few times, but not like, not like. Not like this, guys. Not like this. This is pretty, pretty bad. I, I'm not going to lie. And again, I, I go back to my question. And I will ask this question to you. If Rudy believes in these games, right? He believes in MetaZoo. He doesn't even know what card. When he's opening a box, he doesn't even know if the card's valuable or not. It's been done many times. In Flesh and Blood, he still doesn't know. I think he threw out like a promo card, like an $80 promo card off to the side. And he didn't even realize that was the most valuable card you could get. Or one of the most valuable cards. Use your brain, guys. Let's use our brain. So, let me see. He's selling MetaZoo sealed. He's not buying MetaZoo. And I know people have approached him to buy their collections from MetaZoo. He's not buying MetaZoo sealed or MetaZoo singles from his Patreon or his audience. Follow the money is right, Rudy. You are absolutely right. I'm so glad that we got that on time. Follow the money. But he's making these videos about markets are dropping. And it's always magic cards that he's buying. And his channel is a Magic the Gathering channel. Where 
his magic videos do significantly better than his other videos. Right? Uh, is that him buying some flesh and blood? Whatever, right? Um, I don't think he pulled a single neon card. Right? Is that correct? The way that he does box openings is very easy to manipulate. If you pull a good card, just uh, delete the video and make another video. 